All right. Hey there, it's Lori Hardigree with the VisibilitySolution.com and the Sea Italy marketing team here. So I wanted to show you, as promised, a tour of this new uh, graphics tool that I'm so excited about here. <laughs> it was just released yesterday and, um, you know, it really, I think, has the potential to do some great things for travel professionals in particular. If good things for everybody, some great things for travel professionals. It's called Adobe Spark and right now it is completely free to use and they even have a library of Creative Commons uh, uh, royalty-free images. So meaning free photos that you can use to pull into your, your graphics. Of course, you can always upload your own photos, but uh, I'm always being asked about resources for free images and they have a huge library of them here. So uh, it's a great place to get started. Now I've typically recommended Canva and that's like canvas without the S, C-A-N-V-A dot com. And I still really like Canva. What I like about it is that it has some templates and stuff that I can follow because my brain does not work well for creating graphics. It's not my unique brilliance. And if I have something that's put together well and uh, looks really good, either somebody else created it for me or I've used a template because I'm just not that a visual person of creating that of those graphics that look great. Um, so I love that Canva has templates. This one is even better. Um, so let me show you really quickly how quick, how easy it is to create social media posts. So I'm just going to click on post here and it's going to ask me for the text that I want to put on the image. Now you don't have to put the text on the image if you don't want to, but uh, you know, the point really for doing this is to, you know, to get that text in there. So let's pretend that we have a blog post that we want to promote on social media. Okay. So, um, you know, all over the place, we want to promote this blog post. Now you could use this for, you know, um, travel quotes for inspirational quotes, anything, but for this purpose, we're going to talk about a blog post. Let's say that we have, um, you know, a, a, an article on, um, the best, you know, uh, the best beach getaways for families. So I can type in whatever text I want and then just click continue. Now you saw down at the bottom that they had options for different sizes of images. Uh, I should have brought that up before here. So uh, this was an Instagram post. So it's the square, but they have all kinds of different sizes here. And I'll get to showing you that in a minute. So let's say that we wanted to at first just create the Facebook post that we're gonna share with this blog. So we have chosen Facebook post as my size. Now it's going to give me sample pictures with text and everything. So the first thing, you know, we can edit anything on here. The first thing I wanna do is go ahead and put in the photo I wanna use. So I'm gonna click on photo up here and replace. And I can here either, um, I could upload my own photo if I have something I wanted to use or I could use find photo. Okay, so I've got a dad and a kid on the beach here. Now I can edit anything. Like I said, I can drag this around if I wanted to move that out of the way, but let's take a look at some other options for, um, for this uh, text thing here. So we're gonna go now to theme and you'll see the different themes here that I can click on. I can scroll through and what it's gonna do is change maybe the filter that's over it and uh, the text. And we're really just looking for what looks visually appealing with the text that we want. So I can just scroll through here, remembering that I can edit everything. So you can see there's all kinds of different options. Let's say we wanted to go with something like this, okay? So now I've got that, but it's not matching my branding colors, or maybe I just want, you know, different colors to go with this. I can just click on it here and I could edit the text or anything like that, uh, but I can come here to color and within this color palette that it's used for this theme, it'll give me some suggestions here. So I could click on these and take a look at what these suggestions look like. And let's say I love that one, I can go with that. Um, I can also come down here and choose a different color to, you know, to kind of be inspired by if there's something that I wanted to look for. But let's say nothing was exactly right. Then I can go, come to palette here and it's got the, the different color palettes that are options here. So I can, um, you know, select one that is closest to my branding. So let's say, 
maybe I have branding that's something like this. So when I select it, it picks two different sort of default colors and I can shuffle them until I find what looks right to me. So let's say I wanted to go with something like, hmm, say I wanted to go with something like that. Okay. So now I've chosen my colors. I've got the text. I've got everything else. I'm ready to, to go ahead and export it. This looks like what I want. I just click on share here and then I can click on the download button and it will download my image that then I can take this image and upload it to Facebook, do my Facebook post and everything like that. And I've got an eye catching, visually appealing image that I can use, but I'm not done yet. Um, remember, this is promoting a blog post. So let's say I want to go ahead and have more than just Facebook. I want to have other options. I can click on resize. And now that I have everything set, if I want a Twitter image, there we go. It's resized for it. Pinterest. And of course, you know, I can drag things around, you know, if I need to. So my blog header, there we go. You know, I have whatever size options here that I need and I can go and post this all over in different places and my branding remains consistent and my image to use for that post remains consistent everywhere, but it was really quick and easy to do. So I absolutely love this. What I would recommend that you do, find the palette that you know closest matches your branding and then pick a couple of styles that you really like. Maybe it's three or four different ones and have those sort of be your go-to styles and your go-to colors. And then very quickly, you've got some consistent branding that you're using on your social media profiles. And it really starts to make everything look even more put together for you. Uh, so that is just how quick and easy this is for creating posts. Now, I don't want this video to get too terribly long. So I'm going to go ahead and do another one that I can do uh, for videos and then a third for the itineraries. Uh, but I hope you can see why I was so excited about this tool. Now it's spark.adobe.com and you can sign up for a free account with everything there and uh, very quickly and easily be able to get started with everything. It does save your work for these posts and you can, uh, you know, can use them um, in different way, you know, save them and come back and edit them. If you have a, you know, a particular format that you want to save, you can just, you know, pick it and start working with it um, to manipulate it and change out whatever you need to with that. So that is the post option. And I'm going to go ahead and stop this and I will start a different option or a different video here for the video option.